Hello friends, subscribe technology and press the bell icon to never miss the updates. Hey what's up guys, welcome back to our channel technology. So today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to link to your domain with AWS EC2. So you just need to follow me. So first of all, you need to log in on your Amazon AWS uh, management console. And after that, go to the EC2 from the service tab, just click on services. And after that, click on EC2. And from the left side corner, you have to choose uh, instances. And now, as you can see right now, one instance is running on my uh, EC2, which is a uh, Linux operating system. So you have to first uh, install one Linux operating system. If you don't know, then I have already made a video on this topic. Just check out on my channel. So after install the Linux instances over there, so you have to right click over there and click on networking tab and click on change uh, security groups. You have to check the security group name which is selected uh, in my case it is launch wizard a8 okay so so what you have to do you need to uh just let me check one once again so it is selected as you can see so just go to uh, the security and groups from the left side corner under network and security and after that you have to right click on that uh, uh launch wizard 8 which is selected over there and click on edit inbound rules after that you have to click on add rule and select from here http and from here you have to select uh, anywhere okay so after that click on save now it is done so now what you have to do you need to go to your services again and the scroll down and you will get one option over there is called route 53 under networking and content delivery so if you will not find this option just directly type over there route 53 and after that you will get same option so click over there and after that you will get this window so you have to uh, click on get start now under dns management and click on create hosted zone and click on there click create hosted zone from the uh, top left side corner and after that you have to put your domain name over there so i have already purchased one domain uh, from the godaddy as you can see gadgetbox.in okay so just simply copy that domain name over there and make sure that it is selected public hosted zone and after that click on create so after done you have to click on create record set and you have to select from here ipv4 okay no need to change anything on the name and on the value you have to put the your vps ip so you have to go to the ec2 just open ec2 and go to the instances and select your instances and after that you will get the, your public ip over there so you have to copy that ip and paste it over there okay after that you have to click on create so the a uh, is created so now what you have to do you need to create another record set so click over there and on the name you have to put here www and the type you have to choose a uh, c name and so on the value you have to put your domain name in my case it is gadgetbox.in so you have to put over there and after that click on create so it's, it is done so now what you have to do you need to select your uh, this uh, ns name server okay so and you have to put uh, all these dns on your GoDaddy account so you have to copy this uh, domain name one by one and click on DNS after that you have to scroll down and click on change uh, on the name server and click on custom and you have to put one by one uh, this domain name make sure that you have not uh, Put it any dot after this domain name okay so click on add name server again and you have to copy another one and after that click on save now it will take some time uh, to update your domain maybe uh, 15 to 20 minutes okay so now what you have to do you need to uh, open putty on your computer and after that you have to put your uh, public IP over there and you have to connect your terminal so just connect 
and you have to put here EC2 EC2 user and you have to enable the root so you have to put here sudo then pass spa, uh, space pass wd and after that paste enter and you have to set the root password so put the root password again you have to put same password so it's updated so now you have to log in through root so su space root now put the password of your root which you have set over there so now what you have to do you need to install one packages on your uh, server is called httpd so the command is m install httpd and then you have to put enter from your keyboard and after that y and then press enter again so httpd is installed so now what you have to do you need to create one html file under uh, index.html file under html folder so what you have to do you need to press cd then space slash var www then you have to put here html and then press enter so if you don't know the linux linux commands so you can copy these commands from my video description okay so after that you have to put here cat then get space get and then sign and you have to create one file over there is called index.html okay after that press enter now enter enter once again i have to put the html code so i will give you all this code on my video description so you can copy from there for that body so i will put here simple code technology test page okay so slash body and then slash html then press enter now press ctrl c from your keyboard together and after that you have to restart the httpd on your on your uh, linux instances so just put here uh, services httpd then enable sorry services httpd restart the command is not sorry the command is wrong service httpd not services i put it wrong command over there so httpd is restarted as you can see so now what you have to do you need to put this ip on your browser so as you can see the technology test page is working so now let's let's put this dns uh, this domain name on on your browser let's see it's working or not so it will take some time to load so you have to wait so after done as you can see it's working with my ip and if i will uh try with my domain name it's working properly so i hope this small video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button any queries or questions then comments down below i will see you guys in the next one next video take care